Hello, Geminis. How are you today? Welcome to Powered by the Moon. I am here to do your reads. Um, I'm doing you and Libra and Virgo um, first, simply because we're going into a retrograde, which is into Libra. And as most know, or if you don't know, uh, Virgos and Geminis are deeply and affected by Mercury retrograde because our signs are ruled by Mercury. So every retrograde, Geminis, you get to go through it the most. But guess what? So do I, because I'm a Virgo. And now I'm going to double up because I'm a Libra. And since it's going into Libra, Libras are affected, which I just did their read. So it's all very interesting, huh? But if we all know, then you can navigate a little bit better. Like things are already kind of a little weird. Like here we go with the sirens. Like, well, that's typical in Vegas. So let me not, you know, go there. But um, you don't know. But if we can navigate through it, like I said, it's great. I've already had a few weird conversations and nothing bad just different so you know it's not just electronics everybody always thinks electronics are the thing that are the most uh, affected in mercury retrograde well that's standing from another standpoint but from spiritual standpoint and once you've studied it and you know what it is you know that it has a lot to do with emotions, um, baggage from past coming up on you, you know, whether it be with family, past relationships, friendships, um, brings back old. Uh, it could just, you know, like even at Walmart, it was just weird for me today. Like, this <laughs> was so weird. But, anyways, that's why I'm doing you, Gemini. So we're gonna just do a collective read, general. I don't know what comes up, comes up for you. Um, if it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, let it go. If you're cross watching, you're always welcomed on my channel. Um, but if it's, you're feeling that it, the few, I'm picking up your energy G and the shoe fit you, then you know, so be it. But I always own what I need to own and I would hope you guys do too. Because that's why you're coming here, right? Answers, so get them and not just the ones you want, unfortunately. So Gemini, let's go with our general read, what is going to happen through this marker, marker grade, retrograde. Did you hear that? Like, forget about it. Here we go already. Ah. Spirit led by God, guided by you, let's go. Guys, I will be moving outside soon. The temperatures are cooling, and then I'll get a table wider back. Unfortunately, the space I'm in right now does not allow it as much. So, I mean, there's other parts of the house I could go, but I don't know. I don't have the uh, vibe like I do here. So, here we go. Let by God, guided by you for Gemini. What can they expect through this Mercury retrograde? The first collective read here on YouTube. Welcome, Geminis. Or your cross watchers. Okay. I gotta get my different glasses. I don't know. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, I'm gonna just try to go for it with these. Let's see if I have another. Sorry. <laughs> These are things I guess I got to start thinking about. By the way, guys, if you ever want to see how I meditate, cleanse my area, cleanse me, my space, um, before my readings, I'd be more than happy to do that on there. I use um, what most readers, candles, sage. I work with air, water, and uh, light. So, fire, I mean. So... Prosperity lies ahead. Adjustments are required. All right. So, guys, it looks like you're going to have to let go of something from the past because something great is coming forward. You know, you just got to make those adjustments. You know, I, yeah, that's what the card said. So, I can see that, you know, we're going to have a good read. I think it's going to be a very positive read. All right. So, 
let's go here with the romance oracles on your for you guys for yourself okay engagement okay well here we go love by god guided by you spirit for gemini their romance oracles love by god guided by you My dog is underneath my feet and I don't know what he's trying to get. Mm -hmm. You always hear my dogs here. I, they don't bug me if they bug you, I'm sorry. Um, it's a household though, you know. I don't work out of an office and I love my babies. You guys are gonna go on a lot of adventures with us once we get going here in our little adventure buggy. Out hiking and mining stones. I'm gonna take you guys with us. Come on, let's go spirit. Okay. Let's go for love. Finance and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So guys, maybe there's something you need to adjust in your finances as far as your romance goes. Maybe you're just into your finances and that's fine. We all have to make sure we find our stability very soon. So. That prosperity is going right underneath, um, right above that prosperity lies ahead is the very soon. So let's see. That by God got it right you. Maybe let you need to let go of the past of your finances and careers. Okay, yeah, I see that. Because that's over let go of the past moonology. So codependency. Maybe you need to stop being codependent. That's what's the adjustment being required here. We all go through it. Nobody's perfect. Or maybe you're finding this with somebody else. We'll have to see, Gemini. Okay, so let's do this. Spirit led by God, guided by you. We're going to get into the tarot now. Let's find out the energies of Gemini here. What's led up to this? Looks good. It looks like you you know you know what you you need to do, and it looks like whatever it is is going to come. Prosperity lies ahead as well as very soon. So, two great oracles to know that there's good here in the future, Gemini. That's awesome. Our two facers out there. I like to call all their zodiac signs. As they are. Led by God, guided by you, Spirit. Let's go. What led up to this? What's going on with Gemini? I got guided by you. Using your intuition. Beautiful. Let's go. Again. So that's great, Gemini. I've been forced to look at her twice now. Well, not forced, told. Oof. This card is like my worst card in the deck. Look. I don't like that. That's the worst card. Like I'll say on a lot of videos, bring me the death and the tower every single day. <laughs> don't bring me that. All right, let's go. Split the deck. Yeah, guys, like I said, once I get outside, I'll make sure you guys can start seeing the cards because it's cool on my Instagram, which you can follow me. It's at Powered by the Moon 7 over there. I do reads and things over there. So you got some illusions, maybe some deception around you or you were deceptions come in many forms. You decide to cut some reverse here. So that's uh -oh, okay. Okay. That Knight of wands, I did see him earlier. He was in the reverse, but he came out in the upright. Some people say he's the player, he's in and out. He could be that, but he just could be also, you know, a small start to a passion. But with it being next to the moon, I'm starting to think. Because if it was the page, it could be immature, but nights can be a small start. Um, but being next to the moon, it may be that in and out uh, energy that it carries. It may be somebody in your past. Let's go. What's in the energy? Guys, um, you'll learn that 
here's that tower I was talking about. Good, but it didn't fall out. What I was just about to say, tower, and here's Six of Cups right next to it. Victory. All right, so there's some things going on here. The Empress imprints was down there. Um, if they don't pop out and hit my table, I don't I don't take them, but I take it all in consideration. It start it tells me part of the story that I don't need to put on the table. Spirit puts on the table what I need to see and what I need to read. Flip it, what I need to take in consideration as I'm developing it. Okay, so you do have judgment here. Oh boy. Did you make a judgment call on someone who is playing games in your life? And Okay, you got the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Came out. I saw that earlier. I called it. Death in Reverse. Hold on. Okay. Let me see what's going on here first. Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Six of Wands and the Star in Reverse. So... Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody took this wish fulfillment with no balance or stability. Didn't want this. Oh, okay. So somebody was deceiving you or you were deceiving yourself into thinking that there was something more maybe? Possibly? You were wanting a victory with somebody or they were you? But a judgment call has been made. To move towards that victory you made a judgment call or someone did about the the deceptions whichever form it is for you um your judgment call uh the in out play not player but just um playing games like maybe playing with your heart too much i don't see the cup too much cups here i did see the nine of cups in reverse and there he still is um then maybe somebody was taking this away from you and throwing you off balance or maybe uh but you you're definitely not keeping it to yourself anymore and you're moving off into some sort of victory so but the stars in reverse so it's telling me maybe you're moving off onto your own and just going to find that prosperity very soon somewhere else let me see can i get some more on this emperor in reverse Somebody feels there's an apology owed or wants to make an apology. There's the emperor, empress in reverse, though. Are they going to move on to somebody else or someone else or just into their life? Like, yeah, you're not manifesting this, the magician in reverse. You know, guys, like I said, there's not a lot of cups here and stuff, so it could be. Um, five of cups in reverse, you're over it. You don't want to cry over this shit stuff anymore. This could be a friendship. It could be a job. I'm not seeing too much pentacles either. This is very wan and major arcana. So it is a major, uh, thing. You're choosing to walk away with your eight of cups. Okay. So, and you're not manifesting it. So, I mean... So is there something new coming in? Okay. Yes, you need to heal on it. Take time out. Your Eight of Pentacles came out in reverse and the Four of Swords is here. So you need to take time out and work on yourself. Maybe there was, you know, I feel with this codependency up there. Maybe in that moon starting right off, that's, that's you. So I think maybe you kind of maybe disillusioned yourself about something. I don't want to say self-sabotage yourself because it's not a sabotage. I think you felt there's something more and it's just not. And, you know, you want to write off and just do your thing and you know kind of heal and walk away from this situation you don't want to manifest it anymore you don't want to hold a priority and you into your life you want to go ahead and walk away take the time out and not work on this uh anymore this 
two of cups in reverse. So, yeah. Um, again, take it as it resonates, friend, family. I'm, I'm still not saying this is completely love-based, but it absolutely could be. Well, right when I say that, the lovers popped out. So, yes. Ten of Cups in reverse. Your Nine of Cups were in reverse. Yeah, is, you, you're making the right judgment call by going ahead and wrapping this up. Okay. Because... I'm not seeing this was a longevity thing either, you know. But your intuition, I saw her a lot um, in my shuffling. Three of Pentacles. Um, I saw her a lot. So your intuition's dead on. Like, but I don't think anybody um, actually uh, disillusioned you or deceived you. I feel like maybe your own self for what you felt about this king and queen of swords but he's in the downright she's in the upright oh my gosh queen of cups next to it wow okay so you have a lot of love on this i think this person's even spoke this to you that okay so what can gemini be looking forward to here Okay, so you're going to wait around and put an end to this and wait for something more stable because right now this is, you're not feeling too stable maybe within your emotions, within this situation. Well, clearly you're not feeling stable in this situation, but maybe within your emotions, you're needing a little bit of death and rebirth to this situ to you about this situation. You're just going to wait. It'll complete, it'll wrap up here. Okay, guys? All right, Gemini. Anything else? Any advice? Any advice? Page of Wands. So, Queen of Swords, I think you need to speak this to them. Is there Ten of Swords? I feel like you're only doing this to yourself, though, to be honest with you. Come on. Advice. Hierophant. You need to look, go to the higher powers on this. Hierophant could be a deep understanding uh, with, in spirituality and getting more spiritual growth. Yeah, community. These, he wants to come out. So, yes, this is about you finding, um, Something with inside yourself, working with spirit to find out why you're having a hard time with this. Outcome. Oh, hey. Reunion. Maybe you want, you know, go through this. The vice is to go through, um, what, what is this turned over here? Yeah, put the conflicts down. Go celebrate. Um, maybe once you get this, you know, spiritual known within you, going within higher power, because I'm feeling like that's the hair font, because I'm not seeing a huge relationship here, especially with the page of wands. Uh, but you got the three of pentacles, and it kept wanting, I kept seeing that six of cups. And the shuffle you got your king of cups here too so this is starting to look more but it could still be a friendship a work relationship but once you get this more understanding about yourself and not be so codependent and you make those adjustments that are meant to be a, a member up here you have to make adjustments that are required this could bring you back into some sort of reuniting with this person or it just will bring you fonder memories. Let's see, look, I got, I got it by your spirit. Anything else? Okay, yes. Oh, there's going to be an apology. And you're going to come out of your uh, head about this. Because you're in the reverse there. You're going to take that sword behind you and slice off the, band, uh, the blindfold. Good for you. But you do have an apology here, but it's a small a very 
So you'll get that. So guys, I still don't think that this is gonna, no. You'll come to terms with this is what I'm seeing here. And um, you'll go within and heal and do it, the work you need to do for yourself and within yourself for this, about this situation. But you're not gonna, um, no. My deck is not gonna turn upside down because here's all this right up. So I think this is complete. I did see the world card earlier um, with that 10 of swords here when I picked it up. The sun in reverse, king of swords, no, you're not, um, that's it. You'll get the apology, I feel, I feel you're gonna get, or with, or you're gonna forgive yourself with inside. You know, that's what that could be, is that you're having to sit there and forgive yourself with inside. For maybe, you know, allowing yourself, maybe knowing that this situation may not go to a full thing. I don't know. You take it as it resonates. All right. Is there anything else for Gemini here? For Gemini. Oh, yeah. Stop battling your internal because with that eight of swords yeah your crossroads stop you had to stop this like put down the burden yes exactly and if you have to say what you have to say to somebody say it there's your slicer do it and you know what i mean the bullshit all right, so let me get you a couple oracles, Gemini. I'm sorry, Gemini, that sucks, you know, but we've all been through it, you know, where we've liked somebody more and we've wanted to be with somebody. And But good for you for very early on recognizing that, you know, you need to make a judgment call on this and... Move on, work on yourself. Get yourself stuck. Yes, TikTok. TikTok, be Let's go. Love by God, guided by you. Spirit. It's a good read. It's positive, you know? Because you know. That's just making those adjustments with inside you. And, you know, the, there's some sort of attachment because the codependency is there. I'm not seeing anywhere where they show up. And that doesn't mean that, you know, I'm thinking they're anything bad. It's just, I think that you have much stronger feelings and a little bit more of attachment to this than the other person. Let's just go there. How about that guided by you? A leg up. I think by you knowing already, time for a nap. Yes, work on yourself, I said up there. Put the work and investment into you so you get your king of pentacles straight up, okay? If that means going within, healing, clean it up. Clean it up. That's exactly, this is perfect. I'm gonna leave that right there, not pull another one, but do it by the book, be nice, be good. Um, like I said, I'm not seeing anything that this person's directly done or anything I think it's just you know you guys had some times you guys have fun together or something but I think you wanted more out of this and you have a more of an attachment to it than the other person and it's just not it so we need to clean it take a nap and clean it up you got a leg up by knowledge acknowledging it though okay Gemini let's get through this Mercury retrograde as calm as we can. You know, like I said, I did have a few conversations today or, you know, in the last day or two. And one being where I literally wanted to send out a text, mass text and just like lose my composure. <laughs> but that would be the old me to just lash out. 
so I stepped back and by the time I calmed down, I was like very calm and I got my point across a lot better and there was no major flare up or anything like that. So, I mean, it's gonna happen. Keep your communications uh, dead on target. Watch your emotions. Take it a day by day. Um, it's gonna be a powerful retrograde. It's being said to be, and I just feel it energetically. One, I have Venus, uh, my moon, and are in uh, Libra. I have my rising sign in Libra. So both my signs are gonna go into this retrograde, but I'm going to remember every time something's funky. Even, you know, even if it's not even necessary for me to remember, I'm just gonna take it in that stop and take it in consideration. And so Gemini, you know, we have to go through this every time. So you might be used to it, you, you know, used to it but maybe you're not and maybe you need to look it up and maybe you'll understand more about why if you're ruled by mercury you have it harder and gemini's you do so maybe do some research on that i could do a spiritual space on it um maybe i will during reg uh, retrograde here i'll come on here and we'll do a spiritual space of just retrograde and what planets are affected by it and which ones aren't i don't do a lot of astrology knowledge um i'll do enough for the spiritual space of course but i also know that i don't want to um i don't do charts and things like that but i, I study it right now for myself for my readings and just for my own knowledge and you know not just for myself i study other signs and other things so that i can understand other people all right so Gemini, you take it easy and I will catch you on the ne next video. If you like this, leave a comment. All I ask is everybody to be nice to each other and me. Um, it's not a hard thing to do in the comments. I would also love if you uh, subscribe and like the video so we could get this into the al algorithm and continue to have fun here. Um, Gemini's, have a blessed night and thank you for joining me.